Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video I'm going to be telling you if Hostinger is worth it for your website. Now I'll drop a link in the description to my detailed review on this topic and where you can receive special discounts if you want to pick up your own Hostinger plan. All right, so let's get into the video. Now, the first thing I want to cover is, first of all, well, what Hostinger is. Now, Hostinger is a web hosting company, and it's very well known for providing some of the cheapest web hosting on the market. It can get down to about 99 cents a month at their lowest price. And you have to admit that is pretty cheap. That's about the price as a very, very cheap cup of coffee. Honestly, you can buy a lot of coffee that's way more expensive than Hostinger's web hosting plan. But the question remains, is it worth it for your website? Is hosting or a good choice for you when you're running a website and is it worth it? Are there cheap price plans worth it? Like, do you get the same amount of performance or do you get good enough performance to make those plans a positive benefit for you to pick up? Now, before we get into that, just to touch on what web hosting is in general, essentially hosting is a way for you to put your website up on the internet. When you buy a web hosting plan, the place you buy it from basically hosts it on their server. They store your files on their server for easy access from people around the globe. Essentially what this means is that all websites like google.com or hostinger.com themselves are all hosted on web servers. Because of this, if you're going to want to host a website or run a website at all, you're going to need to pick up a hosting plan. And that's where Hostinger comes into play. Is Hostinger good for your website and do they provide good enough performance for their incredibly cheap prices? Well, just looking at their cheapest and most basic plans, they come in at around 99 cents a month. This is a very, very good price, and this is the one I'm gonna be covering today because this is the plan that especially makes Hostinger stand out as opposed to their competition. You're not gonna see many website providers, many hosts, offering a 99 cent a month plan for their customer. Now, one nice thing to note about Hostinger is that they actually have a very, very user-friendly dashboard. It's super easy to use. And honestly, if you go into it without knowing much about technology, you'll be able to figure out exactly what you need to do anyways because of how simple it is. Now that seems to be a benefit, but we also have to look at the performance of Hostinger's plans. Because performance is one of the biggest things, one of the most important things you need to realize and understand when it comes to web hosting. If you have bad latency on your website, then your website isn't going to be as easily accessible by people who are viewing it. Because of this, you could lose out on a lot of potential customers, and it just wouldn't be good overall for your business. So where does Hostinger lie in the latency and performance category? Well, overall, it's pretty, pretty good, especially considering the prices. If you want to get your latency super, super low, you are going to be looking at a higher price plan, but for 99 cents a month the latency is actually really good and it has over 99.95% uptime guarantee. So overall I'd say the performance is very good as well. And another thing to take into consideration is that Hostinger also has their own custom version of cPanel called HPanel. Now if you don't know what cPanel is it essentially means control panel. It's a place where you control all the details and the back end of your website hosting. Now Hostinger offers a simplified version of this, a more condensed version for people who don't know quite as much about website hosting and aren't quite as confident on the back end. And this is really, really good, and this is a benefit which also comes with their plan. Now, Hostinger also comes with a free SSL for all of their plans, which is something you need to take into consideration as well, because an SSL is essentially the way your website verifies that it's legitimate to the people who are browsing it. And this is something every single website needs. I know from personal experience, when I was just starting out building a website, I didn't put SSL on mine and I went through so many problems because of it. 
If I had had a hosting plan that offered free SSL, I wouldn't have had to worry about that, and that is something which Hostinger offers. It's a really good service, and it does add to the benefits of the Hostinger plan and make it even more worth it. Now, the last thing I want to cover is how Hostinger can manage to be so cheap. Because in case you haven't already guessed, I do think Hostinger is definitely worth it for the price. But the question remains, how do they offer it for that cheap? How do they have that good of performance and that good of features at 99 cents a month? And the answer, well, is because they use shared hosting. Now, shared hosting essentially means that your website and multiple other websites will be hosted on the same server. So instead of getting your own server entirely to yourself like you could pay a lot per month for, you're going to be having a nice little sliver of a server instead. Now, this doesn't take away from the benefits and the performance of the plan. Overall, I think it's still a very, very good plan, but that is a little explanation on how they offer it for the price they do. So in conclusion, and just to recap, cap, I actually do think Hostinger is definitely worth the price. Now, real story, I actually use Hostinger to host some of my websites. I run some projects and some of those websites I run on a Hostinger account. Because of this, I can attest personally to the benefits of Hostinger. It's a very, very good service, and I do like them a lot, and I definitely recommend them to people who are wanting super cheap hosting and pretty good performance. You really can't go wrong with Hostinger. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions, just drop them in the comments, and I'll be sure to respond. Also, just a reminder that I have a link in the description with my more detailed review of Hostinger and where you can receive special discounts if you want to pick up your own Hostinger plan. Well, thank you for watching. Till next time, and have a great day.